Hello everyone, welcome to IT Learn 360. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about how to create a test case from scratch in Jira. So before I start this video, do make sure to check. If you didn't subscribe us yet, make sure to subscribe and make sure to like our video. And in the comments, do let us know if you have any suggestions or if you want us to create more videos like this. So moving forward, we are going to learn as a manual tester or as a tester, how we create a test case in Jira. Okay. So for that, first of all, we will, what we need, we need one platform where we are going to test. We need the complete testing scenario for which we have to write down the test case. And most important, we need the Jira tool access. So this is how the Jira interface looks like. This is my dashboard. So first of all, I will go to any particular project in my Jira account. We'll go to the backlog. So here I have done much work for a particular project. So let us create one issue. And let us create a test issue. So we are creating a test case. So we'll select a test issue. Now, what is the requirement? So I'm keeping home page with three sliders only. So I will give a summary for this testing, or we can say test case steps for home page having three sliders only. After giving the summary, there is a three dots icon. I will click on this and it will open a complete issue template where I can add more details. If I have an attachment, if I want to add description, who will be the reporter for this issue and assignee, if I want to assign it to particular, you know, a tester who will like work on this priority, is it high? Label means category. This issue is homepage based. So I will give homepage category for this issue, then I will hit create. So that is how our test issue is created. Now there is other items as well about running it into a sprint and then creating, but I am not, or, you know, teaching that concept, which we, that we will learn in next tutorial. If you want it early, do let us know in comment. We will create the video on that as well. So for now, let us learn how to write down the test case steps. So for that, my first goal is that I will open this test issue in the full tab. So here it will open. Let it load. So once, if, if you guys observe, once it's loaded, here is the written, all the options. And here is the test steps. I will write data, what I'm going to use for testing and the result, okay? So this we can write according to our, you know, company standard. If company want actual result, we'll write actual, but mostly we write here expected result, okay? So let us create first step. So based on the requirement, open the browser, enter the URL, click here, then click here, then test whether homepage has three sliders or not. So my first step will be open the browser, I'm ignoring, enter the URL. Which URL? This one. So I copied this and I add as a test data, right? And what I'm expecting that the given URL should open. Now, once I'm done with this step, I will hit write. And then I will write down the second step. If I think I did one mistake, I can click here and I enter the URL in Chrome. And then I will do this. So it, that is how it will be updated as well. Then second step, based on the requirement, click on shop, then home. Click on shop button. There is not any test data which we need to enter. So we'll leave it blank and then we'll come to test result. Shop button should work or open as well, we can say, right. Then third step, Click on home button, then home button should work or open. Then last step, test whether it has three sliders or not. Home page must contain. So this is the acceptance criteria. 
So I, my last step will be testing home page. Have three sliders or not. Then my expected is home page should have three sliders only. Done. Once I'm done writing all my steps, next is I have to do actual testing as well. I have to execute my test case. So same in this test issue, you can find the option here, execute, right? So we'll click on this execute. And then it will ask us that, do you want to go with by default with G, from Jira, which come execution page? So, yeah, and if our company is using any existing cycle, we will select that. So for now, execute ad hoc and execute. After a minute load, it will open the Jira execution page where it have execution status, which can be pass, fail, in progress or block. If I want to assign execution to a particular, you know, employee, I can do that as well. And down below in the last, there are the steps which I created. So if I do the actual testing of this, my first step is this. Let me copy and see if it will open. So it's open. The step is passed. Next step, click on shop button. Shop button is here. Click, it works and open. So this is also passed. Click on home button. Home button in the menu bar, it is here, home icon. So it worked and pass. Then test home page have three sliders. So here, this is the one slide. This is the second slide. This is the third slide, right? So one, two, three. So yes, home page have three sliders only. So when I made all the steps pass, Jira itself asked us that, hey, all the test steps are passed. Do you want to change the current uh, execution status to pass as well then yes execute now this is how we do the complete test execution in jira in future videos we will learn about defect as well how we assign a defect in jira if you guys have any more you know uh, demand for the videos do let us know we will tr definitely try to create more videos for you i hope you guys enjoyed this video do comment and let us know do make sure to like or subscribe the channel thank you bye bye